we are at account, we just did this one, payment processors, we did this one. So basically all we're doing is we're going through these settings, we're knocking them out. These are some of the emails that get sent out to your customer order confirmation. They're really good. They're pretty much already ready to go. There's not much you need to do or edit or change these. You can do some customizations if you want, and I'm gonna show you that with software called Clavio later down in this course. But for this page right now, not much you need to do. You could change the from email address if you really wanted to. You can do a test email right down here, no problem. And if you wanna get like notifications up inside your Chrome browser, like sale, 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 like kind of how I'm getting support ticket messages every once in a while, you'll see in the video, someone send me a message. That's what will happen when you get a sale. All you have to do is click on this little box right here. I don't like it because it's very distracting, but when you're first starting your store, it's fun, man. It's fun to get those little notifications. Download the app on your phone, get the little ch-chings, ch-chings. I remember when I first started my first store so long ago, I had that on there and I was so proud of my ch-chings. I would raise the volume as loud as I can. I would make sure that in the movie theater, I had my ch-chings on. So everybody knew it's something like, that guy's making money, right? <laughs> that guy is making money. <laughs> it was a, it was fun in the very beginning. After a while, uh, it gets super annoying because you're, you're doing like a thousand cha-chings a day you just turn it off man you just i i only check the stats one day one time a day now it's just, just got other things to worry about because now you know it's a real business and it's not going to fall apart you know in the next day you're actually you actually got stuff working for you so okay so let's continue on billing let's check this out I wanna make sure you guys get everything all set up. So here we go, I set up my American Express. This is how Shopify will actually charge me. So I put this in before you watched it, you can replace it, edit the, the ship uh, stuff here. And then you can look at your summary of charges. We don't have any invoices yet. Okay, good to go. So let's continue on back down to settings and do this checkout stuff. Let's see what kind of settings we can change here. Accounts are disabled. I would say accounts are optional. And then here, customers can check out using either their phone or their email. Yeah, do that one. Customers can choose to add a phone or email to receive shipping updates. Yeah, do that one. Require last name or only. Yeah, that's fine. A company name hidden, I'd say on this one. Uh, address two, optional. Shipping address, phone number. Yeah, I would leave it. I normally don't require a phone number or even have it shown but you could put optional for phone number. If you wanted to collect your customer's phone number, you can leave it optional. Definitely don't put it required. They, your conversion rates will drop. I hide it. I don't feel like I need it, but you could collect it if you want. When a customer is checking out, use the shipping address as the billing address. That's good. Enable auto address auto completion. So this is a real new feature they just added. Definitely have that on. It's really cool. Ask for permission to send promotional emails. Uh, by default, customer doesn't agree. By default, customer agrees. So definitely do this one right here, okay? And then um, after an order has been paid, automatically fulfilled, do not do this one, okay? So do not automatically, leave it like this. What's gonna happen is when you have your print on demand app installed on your store, if you have this box checked, automatically fulfill, then the app won't be able to update with the tracking number into your order. Your customer is never gonna get the tracking number. So leave this, do not automatically fulfill, okay? So that when the app you, you're drop shipping from updates the order as ship, it will put the tracking number in. Shopify is gonna update that order, send an email to your customer with the tracking number, and then the order will be marked as fulfilled and you don't actually have to worry about it anyways. So don't you don't need this. After an order has been filled and paid, automatically archive. So after it has been fulfilled and paid, archive it, yeah, that's okay. So then some additional scripts right here. This is if you're going to do some Google Analytics stuff or some Facebook stuff, which I actually, you don't even need because I'm gonna show you a different way to do Facebook pixels. So don't worry about anything right here. And your storage checkout page is displayed in English. I say yes. And go ahead and generate some refund policy, generate some privacy policy, and generate some terms of service. So what you're gonna wanna do, see, and they automatically put your store name in their printed pleasures. So they, they fill in the everything perfect for you. So if you go down here, it has the your business address as well, printed pleasures. It says compliance officer or whatever. So what you wanna do is you generate those, but then now what you're gonna to need to do is you're actually gonna to have to uh, take these and you're gonna to have to create pages, okay? So uh, what, what you wanna do, is refund policy. So I'm gonna copy of that information and we're gonna head over to, I'm gonna click on online store now, okay? 
And what we should do, let me let me actually go back. I wanna open that new tab so that we don't get lost. So we're back on this checkout on the bottom and we got some of these privacy policy stuff. So now I'm gonna right click on open, online store. It's gonna open a new tab over here and we want to pages down here, okay? So we wanna set up three pages. We're gonna add, add a page and the first one is called what? Refund policy. So they let you generate it, but they don't put it as a page. It's kind of weird, refund. So now all we do is paste that, okay, ready to go. And you can read it and make, make any changes as if you want. I'm gonna save that. And then we're gonna go down to privacy policy. So we will go over here. And let's go back to pages, add a page. We're gonna call this privacy. Okay, so let's paste that. And terms of service is the last one. So pages, we add a page, call this terms. Okay, done, save. So now we got our three pages set up. Everything's good. So I'm gonna go back to settings and we can just leave those there for now. They are not going to be visible on your store yet. So if I go to view your store, there's nothing in the bottom, right? So you, we actually have to add those pages to make them visible. But right now they're set up as pages, but they're not visible on the website. We will do that later. No problem. So let's just continue on. We got some files. Let's see what we got in here. You haven't uploaded any files. Okay. No worries there. Nothing to do. Shipping. Okay. So how to manage your, your ship. So we already set this up, uh, before in the other video. So no, nothing else to do there. Sales channels. So right now you automatically have a sales channel. Let's see what they have. Online store. I'm pretty sure with online store. Okay, so they give you a little dashboard or whatever. Let's go back. We can add a sales channel and you only, technically you only need online store. But some of these like the messenger one is really cool because it will send your order confirmation to your customers on Facebook, which is, is a cool little technique. I would say set up the, the messenger one if you got time. I'll probably do a tutorial later in this course on how to set that up. So we're gonna skip that for now. Let's see what else we got, sales channel. So the last thing we gotta do is we gotta take the password off the store and I will show you that here as soon as I find where to do it. All right, so we are where it says online store and and then we're gonna go down to preferences and we can go ahead and set the title to our brand name of our store, which I'm gonna set up to be the same. Printed pleasures. You can call the store whatever you want and you can say a meta description, awesome twist. So this will give you some search engine optimization a little bit, not much, but it doesn't really, it doesn't matter because we're gonna be running Facebook traffic anyways. So here's where you're gonna put your uh, Google Analytics code and I'll show you that in a little bit. And this is where you do not, not put Facebook Pixel. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your Facebook Pixel better than the default. So Shopify makes it, supposedly makes it easy for you, which it does if you just put your Facebook Pixel ID here. It will work by 80% of the way, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to do more advanced stuff and you don't wanna use this feature, okay? So just leave this blank. And then here where it says enable password page, okay, so we're gonna turn off that and then we're gonna hit save. So now when people go to your printed pleasures, your right there, let's show you someone goes here to your store, now it's gonna actually work. So um, you can see, all right, looks like it worked. I don't, it just took a second or something. So now, you, now it's not password protected and you can see your store and there's nothing set up yet, but we're just set up the admin stuff. All right, so guys, I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna move on to more uh, setup processes.